how poor a lane cancel has had. Yeah, it's got to get the creeps first, right? Yeah. <laughs> but it, it, we've seen it time and time oh, again. Cancel, charge coming forward. They're looking to the bottom lane as the charge comes in. A leap over to the Starfall. Z3 oh, with the, the bash. extra bash as well. Cancel as the top lane while Swindles goes down. That'll be the first blood. Universe getting ripped apart in the bottom lane, but he survives on 40 HP getting back behind the tower. He's to act like we're not going to arcade this Keeper of the Light with heavy amounts of farm. I kind of like this move, at least. The Iron Shell, the Spirit Breaker, he's going to charge across the map. Looking for some mail. They don't have a lot of Iron Damage. But this is Disruptor also coming in. If Crick gets a good connect field off, you're going to have three oh, complaints. The players caught for Z Freak. The RNG was... is there for him. That's so lucky that he got that bash. That would have been a really hard kill otherwise. Uh, two sec or two magic stick and a healing cell on Ursa if he just got a bit away from It looks like they want to go on Mu. The charge is coming on to Zai, however. So they store his move for Nova. And now with the kinetic field up, Zai won't make it out in time. Or will he? Mu still has time walk available for the mana leak. Making it difficult for Ogre to get away in complexity. Really getting up in the face of EG, but now the bear is back. Looking for the kill over on Mu. They glimpse it back up to the tower. Now with a starfall. Cancel is rotated over. The damage is enough to kill off crit. Giving the space for Mu to escape. Cancel needs to go invis with the moonlight shadow. He can on 40 HP. He's got no way out. There's no mana. Samal missed, missed the clap. And he he won't keep up the pursuit. The creep wave's coming over, but Moonlight Shadow will last just long enough. In fact, they're going to four-man smoke maneuver, and they're going straight for Roshan. So Complexity has managed to actually loop around the back. They might get lucky by finding Arteezy. But do they have enough damage? Do they have enough heroes? They're losing cancel. The smoke gang from EG pays off. Now Mu jumps in, but EG split three ways. They don't know who to really go on. The wall will come down to more control from Crit as Mu, no he can't. The Song of the Siren actually lets, <laughs> lets them reset. Evil Jesus. They're running away, Zai still caught in the middle of this fight, but then again, by standing here with the Naga Illusions, Monkey has to run, but he's burning to the Radiance. He can't even make it to the neutral to deny himself. Zai might be on low life, but friends are nearby. Osaporia jumps in, able to actually get that bash as well. Mu just can't catch a break, never found a Chrono target. And goes the entire fight without using it. Now this means three hero kills plus Roshan. Goes the way of EG. They did get a charge off on Naga. At least they're going to TP in with Marana. But she still doesn't have Ags. So even if she he charges in. I mean, Arrow. the air lands. It okay. does. Five seconds on the stun. Up in the top lane right now. Arteezy is the big kill. Bottom lane. Swindles is also being attacked. Swindles will go down. But Arteezy, he finds a kill. He's making the distance. Playing the Fog of Four. Up, around. And now it won't be enough. Cancel. He needs to survive with a Starfall. He'll do it. Gains the gem of the Naga Siren. Maneuverability on monkeys. He went for the pipe as well as Mexano with no blink dagger. It's not as scary around the pit. I mean, I think they can definitely do it though. There's Naga trying to slow things down. Song of the Sirens available. Five second arrow on Samael. This could do a lot. Ati, oh, the ability on the go. The Illuminus destroys him. Trits on low life. Throws the ulti down. The Marana's already picked up the double kill. Cancel have to wait around a little bit longer. But then Moon lassoed up onto the hillside. He'll jump back down against a two man chrono. Oh, Ati, the so Ogre caught. There's no mana for Song of the Siren. The arrow chain from Cancel is perfect as well. And another Illuminus from Swindles. They're getting kills left, right, and center. Can they Samael get might jump back in but it's the cost of his own life you kill off at least one with the sb the moonlight shadow trying to be used they can dive in deeper samel still on the run the arrow flies low samel runs high ogre can he create some space maybe with the ignite with some slow push down the sentry walls at least they get the vision the yamana leak samel he'll get stunned up with that back back in again it drained everything out gave the sun and this will be a team wipe in favor of complexity leveling the board at 15 15. Oh, that work means wait. nothing team fight means everything one uh, out of that entire creep wave, and he's still short by 550 gold of getting the Agonims. Yeah, so this is a dangerous moment here. They're going to try to catch them on the retreat back. Oh, the spotted. Yep, Link Lasso. They're going to throw down at least Ooh, with the Moonlight Shadow. They don't have the detection available. And now, in fact, it can be a defensive deal separate from Universe. Doesn't have his force up a Blink Dagger. Moo keeps going with the extra help. They get the stuns out. Z Freak does the work, and Samael with no mana on himself. He's in the midst of this fight, so two down for EG and Complexity want to keep going. The arrows fly out, but already Zai's down. Ursa stunned up. Mana leak from Swindles doing work. They'll burn the Aegis. Right, they need creeps to charge you or something like that, so they got Angel actually. 
Ah, uh, Samael charges straight through. The BKB from Samael tries to fight, gets the bash on the Spirit Breaker, brings down Z Freak. Samael wants to fight harder. Can he do it? They keep on him, and now the run around the side, but you have to go home. The tier 3 tower in the mid lane's already brought, almost brought down. Arteezy has been taking care of this as the Naga. Illumina from Swindles will slow this, and now it's 42. The Illusion's back in again. Can't get it down. I'm gonna smoke it though. And Minnate. Coming out to fight. They'll leave this ward here. Crit's the closest one for them. Now it's actually gonna be Zai. Sits on the tree line, and up they go. Oh, Chrono Spear. It doesn't catch them all. Arteezy just far enough away. So he'll get the Song of the Siren off. The arrow will connect, however, so Universe Illumina flies in. There goes your Batrider. Song of the Siren will end, and the E Blade pop down the structure too. The wall and the storm might have got up in time. Now it's the male and Arteezy. They try and do some work, but Z Freak bouncing back that BKB magic immune to male. They try and focus on a different target. It's Arteezy. He's number one target for complexity. The Viber Keeper came out from Swindles. He'll be the man on the defense, but can they kill Arteezy? He's still a rough staff to do. Is there that star fall? There's that magical pop damage, combining up with the E-Blade amplification. We're able to find the kill. The range racks was lost at mid. But the melee still survives. And they stole the gem from Cole, but I think Cole... I think they actually just traded gems, pretty sure here. Yep, they did. One on Zai, and uh, yep, the other on Swindles. Yep. Just a little great. Swindles getting blown up at the start. Um, looks like he didn't oh, go for a buyback. Oh, mid lane to Oh. <laughs> well, who was that? That was on my screen, but it happened so fast. <laughs> <laughs> Swindles tried to help Matt like he mana leaked. Dodge is coming in, and he's gonna bring... He's gonna bring Cancel to the fight. Alistair is still waiting it out, got in rage up in 14 seconds, now cancel, has to retreat out, the freak will arrive, they have the vision, the arrow connects on the Earth. Up. pretty Slow. point blank range with Samael into your range, and they got the lasso, Spirit Breaker can't do much more, but you do get the Yule Scepter, this will break free of that mana leak, allowing Universe to blink himself away without getting stuck, but cancel, the double star for crit, down to 8 HP, still alive, they're backing him back over, will it be enough, no Z freak, he'll see crit, one more punch will do the work, a double kill for the Spirit Breaker. Zion's managed to retreat back to his tier 3 tower. Attack speed items on Void. I'd love to see something like Radiance, or not Radiance, uh, uh, Mjolnir would be yep. great. Attack speed increase. Um, great way to deal with... Uh, oh, great Observer Ward. RTZ is walking straight into him. So they start. Mook gets the Chrono off. The arrow flies forward. It hits not on anybody. It just timed out before it hits Chris. Now with a leap in and the start for Marana into a death. He's done for Deep Freak. Maybe some space can be created. No, it can't. Marana's down with the back wall. Monkeys. He'll make a whole bunch of new friends out of EG. Song of the Siren from RTZ tries to stop the fun once again. Crits back into base safety safely, but Zai, oh, he's trapped outside, so he'll oh, drop down, and where is it? He meant to dodge the E-Blade Starfall. He actually lived because of that. What a sick play from Arteezy. Yeah. Or Lincolns could also solve the problem a little. Barrett can always break it with Force Staff, but at least then he can't pull as far. Mm -hmm. But Moo's not really accruing items super fast here. He you just not picked up the Manta. He wants to go again, and he found a target. It's going to be Monkeys. So Mail comes quickly to the E-Blade Pop will go on the Dark Seal. Buys a little bit of space, and they're outside the Storm. So the Storm will have no effect, but Monkeys still locked down. So Mail with the Abyssal Blade holds him there and moves. He's actually chasing Crit. A long way out of base, he's doing his time walk available, Samal doesn't get any kind of lucky bash. Charge coming in from Zebra, wants to create space, but only with the Naga Illusions. It'll still work enough, but the Glimpse move. Another time walk, didn't have much more vision, and now, Ooh, with the Observer and Sentry, they're thinking about moving in close. Uh, he doesn't have a lot of mana, the Chronosphere catches out the Ogre, while over on the side is Samael, mopping up the Spirit Breaker. Marana forced to leap away from this fight, and they just oh, waited out with the Song of the Siren. Reset, Zai wants to stay in this, now runs away. Mu won't stick with this fight, the Illuminable fly, and it just four stops away! Ogre on 25 HP! They're chasing Samael though, if they can... Okay, he's gonna be able to blink. Oh, he gets trapped actually. Uh, they, don't, they don't have vision though. They've no one saw it, Samael. I mean, Swindles might. Swindle sees it, Swindle sees it. He's close. There's the flying vision. The charge is coming in. Monkeys will back him up to the hillside. So they get the stun from the mana leak. Oh, man. And Samael is trapped and murdered. Aegis the immortal down. 
Oh, the mid ranks is gonna fall though. Creeps. Oh, they oh, oh, they're they're oh, oh they get their defense. No, 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 look, look, Universe is coming. Universe is coming. One attack. That'll Two do attacks. it for Universe, but they're looking to actually kill off Samael as well. So Samael will die twice. No buyback available, but the melee is down in the mid. And now Moo, no, RTZ says everybody stop. He bought a refresher off. That's why Song of the Siren is back up already. The Spirit Breaker would love some vision. With the bleak, there's your E Blade pop. No mana style this time available for Naga, but he'll dodge the arrow. Crit turns. On the, on the wall, and maybe with the Batrider holding him there, no, the Flame Break pushed Deep Freak back out again, but the big one, they want to move control up, he man actually manages, Time Warp's available, he stands his ground, he wants to fight, now moves around, RTZ is down, 76 seconds, buyback is available, but this fight is splitting up, Universe turns to the east, maybe the north, no, can he see him, can he get close enough, he can't touch him, he can only smell him. I think you deny this range barracks now. 3 HP, definitely gold. Oh, uh, Cancel's looking at it. Samel's gonna come in. It's money. That gave him actually so much hope. 348. Oh, there's the blink. Last note, but they hold each other in position. The storm is still down. Blinding light will make this difficult. And uh. Samel is the BKB. Marana still alive. Buyback is available. Do they go for it when Moo gets that leap out? Chronosphere targets these until Arteezy. Song of the Siren. They try and reset this fight up a little bit. A little bit more space. Z Freak is free. They're looking at Zai. And once again, Zai seems to have to fall on his sword for the rest of the EG lineup. They can start falling. He takes a lot to kill. The tier 4 towers are losing life in the meantime. Yeah, they sent Council back. Uh, Zai? Zai? No! 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 They don't see him! They have no clue! He's out! He's freedom! Oh my god. Who had the vision? No one! He, he glimmer caved! They didn't see him! No oh, one brought the sentries! No was, one brought the gem! It's it, on Swindles! Swindles, yeah. He had to stop the mid push because there, there were so many creeps in their base and illusions in the base and they tried to slow down the Naga. Look at this. Duking to the left, pops glimmer with his last bit of mana. And then he's just out of there. They had no idea which way he went. Great timing there. Just barely gets in time for the juke spot. Starts the TP. Beautiful juke That's easy. There. We come back live. This was initiation coming in from Seafree. The Red's complexity have moved over. The Cronus with the blinding light pushed them out. Arteezy is actually not caught in this anymore. It's only oh, the mail. And maybe now with e blade pop, the heal steps up. Dodges it out. The universe back down with the last throw. Controlling up move. Allowing the mail to go hand on him. The storm is down too. Will it be enough as they fight around the secret shop? Only Moo is dead so far. Swindle's about to join him. If he can, blinding light pushing the mail out. They need Need more damage, it just doesn't exist. He plays pop in one second time, combine up with the take on. Cancels have enough, the buyback coming in fresh and fast here from complexity. They need more work. Oh, Cancel is low. The leap away. He needs to survive. Not enough life. He does have the arrow to help out his teammates. Arteezy is low. Moo's doing his work with Samael. Back into the fight. Moo tries to keep his eyes on the prize. That's going to be Arteezy, but locked inside the kinetic field of crit. And now with oh, the invisible the blinding light and the illumin, it gives the life. Allows for the time walk away. Moo's got life against Samael. Consumes up the teeth. Arrow from Cancel. Holds him in position. They look for the target. Cancel now going up for the support. Back in the middle. Lane. Finally, he gets down to the drop for a move. Time locks over on Zai in the mid lane, so he'll find the kill there. But on bot lane, Universe, you're a bat rider. You don't kill buildings. You TP home is what you do. It's the male who is the manliest of men fighting up against Cancel. The leap down the hill. Can he get away? There's your E blade pop. Combine it up with the Starfall as much damage as possible. Now it's the male, low on life, blinding light of Cancel back to the trees with the creep wave. Move control and the arrow connect. The mail is down. Buyback is available for all of the EG players, however. The complexity of trouble at home. The Naga continues to come. And the Naga and the other Naga. There's that fresh defusal finally over on Moo. Do you see that Arteezy has money? Uh, yeah, he's he's got money, but like, right now he's got more money than God. Oh, the glimpse pulls him back over, so he'll actually break the last zone. But uh, with the death, that's now 90 seconds without him. Swindles does not have buyback. He's not good there. Gonna arrow creeps, trying to hold things together, but they're Dyer's definitely gonna get some more barracks damage. And if both of these fall, the game is almost on the the greatest fight ever. There's a jump here, the Chronosphere with the bash. They killed they the disruptor, so there's no big control from him. But you've still got Arteezy going for the top rank. He's trying to do this, the e blade will stop him. So this fight splits into multiple parts. Samael needs to find kills, but he can't do it. Arteezy, he has to finish the double, has he? With the enroute, Cancel can't actually defend. Arteezy will take out the melee rack. Samael is still running. It's a three 
Green Man Gangsport from Complexity in the mid lane. Samael now tries to try to fight Universe. Is there any kind of help? Is there anything to help him? Samael so low turns, gets a bash on move. Where is the stop? Where the is the Megas? You've actually got happen. Team Four Tower Jam. Cancel is dying too. The melee rack to the bottom is gone. It's Megas up and running. Artizi's inside the fight with the CD freak. Artizi underneath the fountain of Complexity is soloing them. If he can, they're all coming home. But will they come too late? Under the fountain, Artizi farming up Z-Freak with a triple kill. Using the illusions of shields, he'll move to Moo with the defusal plate, which he just freshly bought to. He's looking for Moo. The Bashers, where's the Jesus? RN Jesus, they need to hold Artizi in position as he just walks away. Defusal plate charge, purge it off. Just keep running. Z-Freak is calling it. He won't even let Moo finish his duel with Artizi. Easy because they tapping out of this game. EG oh. was saved by the bell at the end. Evil Genius, game one of this best of three. These team fights were so fun to watch. Absolutely the highest level of Dota and every little movement there. The fact that Arteezy was able to kill the most farmed hero on the enemy team, the, the Mirana, without dying while taking two racks, while Fountain diving and kill, killing Z Freak two times, was insane play. He caught it in perfectly. It was. Like you just hold him. It's like, I'm instead, I have to sit there and watch my home be destroyed. That's sadistic. And they.